Hello. Uh, so, hi, I'm here to talk to you very briefly about open licenses. Um, these slides that I'm sharing are uh, shared with a Creative Commons by license uh, developed by Open Life Science and then modified by me. I am not a lawyer. I only play one when playing board games. Okay, uh, so a little bit about me. I am the reproducibility librarian at the Health Science Center Libraries at the University of Florida. Uh, my pronouns are he, him, his, uh, and my Twitter handle is how and why. Do feel free to reach out to me uh, if you have questions about research reproducibility or other related topics. Um, so the goal in talking about licensing in the context of open life science is, and open projects is we would like other people to be able to use Remix and share our the work that we're doing in our open projects. Um, and we achieve that by making sure that we have in our open projects explicit documentation about how other people can use and Remix and share it. Um, and so we're going to go through uh, these slides um, and Hopefully, if there's time, uh, you know, have the ability to have a short discussion or answer any quick questions about this. Uh, with the goal being uh, that you will eventually know and understand the importance and how exactly to do the task of adding an open license to your work. Okay, and so going back to kind of the intent behind all of this. The open leadership framework talks about open leaders as designing and building projects uh, that empower others, right? We think about we're doing these projects because usually because we care about doing work that, you know, helps other people, whether those are people in our communities or outside our communities. Um, and so that's kind of where we think about one way in which um, you know, we do that interaction is by having our work be shared in a way that other people can can use it. Uh, and so this falls in this box of, of the open leadership framework of building for sharing and making sure that we have explicitly in the building of our project, a way that uh, we share the work. Okay, so some, some misconceptions uh, that I think I want to address when talking about licensing, because uh, it is a, it is a complex topic and it does relate to things like copyright and academic credit, uh, but licensing is not the same thing. Um, and so some brief uh, kind of points to make really quickly, uh, just because you share something on the internet or GitHub or someone else shares something on the internet or GitHub does not automatically allow other people to use it. Uh, if you are sharing work with a license, it does not by default give away your copyright. So you can share work with a free license and an open license like Creative Commons. That does not prevent you from publishing your work or selling your work or in other ways monetizing your work. And finally, uh, work that has been shared with an open license, you can use it and other people can use it. They don't have to uh, cite you necessarily. Uh, so it can be legal to use the work without citing you, uh, but in an academic setting, if you are uh, doing academic research, that's still considered a violation of academic ethics. And that is something that you would pursue if it's a problem using academic means, um, because that can be uh, plagiarism. Okay, um, so some, some kind of Common elements when we talk about licenses, there are of course many different ways um, you can sh you can give other people permissions. Um, so many different example licenses, um, and the kind of things that we think about uh, in terms of including in the open license are how people can use your work, how people can modify your work, and how they can share your work and redistribute either the original or the modified work to other people. Um, and so, yeah, some of these elements also include uh, attribution. So a lot of the open licenses that uh, are in use generally require that uh, if the work is being 
reshared by someone else that the original authors are credited. Uh, so examples of this are the Creative Commons by license, uh, which has a, this attribution clause um, and almost all the other licenses that will be mentioned today. Uh, and one exception to this, one important exception to this is the Creative Commons Zero license, uh, which effectively is putting something into the public domain and waiving your copyright to, uh, to whatever it is that you are sharing using the CC Zero license. Uh, so some, some kind of advanced uh, complications uh, within this uh, topic of open license. Uh, so I put these as, I, I, I list these uh, as wrinkles because they are relevant to kind of consider, but maybe don't think too much about making sure you understand all the details of it. Uh, open licenses have this distinction between what we call copyleft and non-copyleft uh, licenses, uh, which basically have to do with whether uh, modifications of a work have to be shared under the same principles. Uh, the idea with the copyleft licenses, so uh, something like the new public license, the GPL, is that if someone writes a piece of software and shares it with that license, a company can't just build off of that software and then sell their modifications they also have to distribute their modifications in the same license. And that way it, it, it's a way of ensuring that kind of, if you are going to use something in the copyleft world that you also contribute to that world. Uh, and this is not true uh, for licenses that are permissive, but not in the copyleft scheme. Um, and we generally prefer those in the kind of open licensing world. And I think for you know, open life science, uh, we don't necessarily want to be overly restrictive with how people can reuse our work. Uh, but that is, if that is something that is important to you, uh, that is something to consider. Uh, the next thing is that patents are also not related to copyright, uh, which are not, are not the same thing as licensing. Uh, so copyright rights include the ability to copy, modify, and redistribute work. And patent rights include the ability to use, make, and sell work. Um, and so this generally tends to come up when we are talking about software in that open source licenses for software may or may not explicitly include uh, something that grants patent rights. Um, and this is a whole big can of worms. Uh, so I'll just say, if you are writing software and you have a plan to patent the software in any way, definitely talk to a lawyer uh, before thinking, before just slapping an open license and expecting that your patent rights will be preserved. Okay, that was a lot. Uh, so let's go into the, the kind of details of how you go about applying a license. Uh, so a license file um, is usually named uh, license in all caps, uh, and it goes in the, the root directory or the top uh, most folder of your project. Um, and you can definitely include multiple licenses. Uh, and that's important because you might have different components of your project that you want to apply different licenses to. Uh, and that's kind of important because licenses that are best for software are not ideal for content uh, like images or writing. Um, and in the reverse as well. And so there are ways that you can specify in the license section of your readme or the license file exactly which parts of your project uh, are associated with which license. Uh, so again, data and code and creative works are not the same thing. Uh, and so you may require different licenses. Uh, here's an interesting tweet I saw earlier this week about this topic uh, that is relevant. And so ways that you can add a license to your project in GitHub, if you are creating a new repository in GitHub, there's a section at the bottom where you can initialize the repository uh, by clicking that checkbox. And then you can choose a, a license from among a number of built-in defaults to GitHub. So that's a way you can just start out a project with a license. But if you already have a project uh, in GitHub, 
there's another way you can add one of these license templates, uh, which is when you use the feature to add a new file, if you start typing the file name license in all caps, uh, a button pops up, which lets you choose a license template. Uh, and that's also really handy to have in that, again, you don't have to go look for the full text of a license and get the file. Uh, if you're just working in GitHub, um, those are built-in defaults. Uh, some useful tools for exploring the different possible licenses you might want to use. Um, Creative Commons has a website that uh, goes through kind of the different Creative Commons licenses, including the CC0 public domain uh, license um, and the variants of the CC BY, uh, which include requirements, for instance, for attribution or uh, not letting people create derivatives of the work. Uh, software, again, is different. There are different licenses for software. Uh, so hopefully this table gives you a, a brief guide to some of these possible licenses. Um, and then the websites themselves have more detailed information uh, that are useful for you. Uh, again, more resources. Uh, if you would like to learn more about this very complex legal uh, topic in detail, but I will just sum up uh, this content in that you, if you're building an open project uh, and you want others to build off of your work and use it, you need a license. Uh, and that license is going to be this top level file whose name is license. Um, if you have code and data and different content in your project, you will want to use a different license uh, for those different types of uh, content. And then some good permissive defaults uh, if you're working with code uh, is to share a code using the MIT license. If you are sharing writing or documents or images, uh, the CC BY license, uh, or for data that you use the CC0 license, uh, which effectively puts it into public domain.